Hi, I'm Mike Williamson. Today we'll be looking at ingesting DAR files, a new feature in Axiom version 3.11. And you can certainly load in the DAR files through the standard image loading process. But in the event you're ingesting a Celebrite generated DAR file, we wanted to just do a quick video to make sure that you have access to all the timestamps included with that extraction. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the UFET extraction here. And so alongside the DAR file, there's a log, a UFD file, and then two folders. Inside this metadata folder, there's a couple of plists. There's actually information that's been packed into these plists uh, for each of the file system entries in the DAR. So to tell Process that we want to include those in our, uh, in our results, we want to actually target the UFD file as opposed to the DAR file directly. Now this will actually work if you point it to the DAR file directly, but you're actually going to be missing out on a couple of things, specifically the created timestamp. Um, so I'm going to uh, just load up that DAR file now. Uh, by clicking on the UFD. And once the parsing has completed, I'm going to move on to the next screen. I'll leave my artifacts all enabled and I will go to analyze evidence. So I have a case that I processed a little earlier where I targeted the DAR file directly and as you can see, everything is parsed out correctly, other than the created timestamps are missing. And they are missing both from the created column as well as from the details card. By contrast, here's my fully completed scan uh, where I've targeted the UFD file. And in this case, you can see all four timestamps uh, from the APFS file system have been parsed out correctly. And they show up on the grid view as well as in the details pane. Uh, by the way, we have an excellent post by Jessica Hyde on the APFS timestamps. APFS is Apple File System, which is used on iOS. And there's a link earlier in the written part of this post to that article, so definitely check that out. And if I just switch over to Artifacts View, you'll see that I have a fully parsed iPhone extraction directly from the DAR. So that concludes our session for today. Be sure to check out our other great features in Axiom 3.11.